Hi everyone, my name is Mahofa Moahi. Some of you know me as Charity from Skim Sum. Um, today I am so honored to be invited to come on Second Chances with Sophia to chat about her life journey, specifically the mental health journey that she went through. So you guys please stay tuned. Lina, I'm here to learn just like all of you. If I get back to my first born 15 years ago, me really like here. Are you serious? Yeah. And I saw since you made a little such me really like a kina hairline for nothing. I God's favorite. He really the products guy. Guys, I no 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 the struggle is a sort of like who took this one say we will make sure we get that the right to call us. I my department. Please please. Okay. I'm telling you. <laughs> and I saw on you, I saw on Google you have four kids. I do. Wait, mother, wait. mother of four. Oh and no, I, 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 ancestral yes. lineage. Like my grandmother came to kill Bushmen, so uh, metabolic. That's why literally, I can eat you out of your house. Guys, yeah, guys. God's favorite child. Yeah, no, guys, yeah. Yeah, I know you. Dime, I'm going to say. 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 I'm going but I will eat. It will be so okay, welcome back to yet another episode of Second Chances with Sophia V. And today I have a special guest with me, Mahofe, aka Charity from Skin Sam. If you don't watch it yet, what have you been doing with your life? Exactly. <laughs> so um I say she's a special guest because I met you in 2016 at a church in Randbeck and mm -hmm. when I was there it was just a normal Sunday and I yeah. visited that church because my mom goes there and I remember very well at that I was sit I was standing outside with my son and it was just a few months old because I remember because it was crawling at that time mm -hmm. and you came outside and you just kept on complimenting at how good I look my especially since I had a small baby and we later on went to have lunch at the pastor's house and your sister had just also had a small baby yes. and I was sitting at a corner playing with the two kids and you just kept on coming to my to my corner over and over again and you embraced me and a few weeks ago i actually sent you an inbox reminding you of that moment and i was not only reminding you of that moment i just actually wanted to say thank you because i was at the peak of my depression and all i just wanted to do was to disappear from the surface of the earth mm -hmm. i had distanced myself from a lot of people and i felt invisible mm -hmm. but you came and you noticed and more than anything, when I shared my story with me, you actually went live on your Instagram and you shared my story with your people and you were actually crying. So what I want to know is like, what, what got your attention? What made you to cry when you saw my story? Um, I think the way you, okay, the way you narrated the story and then also it made me to realize that God has been using me for so long without me even realizing what I'm being used to touch his anointed. I'm, 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 I'm gonna cry. It's okay, I, 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 I realize that and I am so glad and so happy for he chose this vessel. He, he put me through what I went through for solely this you know and i didn't know you needed what i gave you at that time then i didn't know that and i'm just i'm just deeply touched and humbled or i i i had an effect on someone else without even knowing what i was doing yeah it's yeah i'm just i, I was just in awe I, I still am you know it it, it, it makes you become very conscious of where you are, what you're doing, and with whom you're with. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm glad and I'm humbled, but I'm, I'm being used in that way. And the thing is, that day, it was just a normal day, and it just goes to show the kind of person that you are. And just you being you, you were able to help me with my own healing because I had lost my self-esteem. And just looking around, I've seen the kind of work that you do. You are passionate about mental health. You are passionate about self-love. You are passionate about spirituality and 
spirituality in terms of God and the traditional part of things, mm. everyone has a story. I've shared my story countless times. Mm. What is your story? What made you the woman that you are and what triggered the passion that you have? What made me the woman that I am today, I think more than anything, is my kids. I needed to make sure I have to get myself right so that I can raise these people. And, you know, first of all, actually, I never thought I would have kids. Never. Because they found, I had five cysts removed. So I had a laparoscopy um, done, um, endometriosis, um, and then when you said laparoscopy done, five cysts were removed. It's only five cysts the size of this, the old one rent size, which is, is this, yeah. So that having um, done, and I was like, okay, God, I don't think, because the doctor's like, listen, I removed them, but I am not guaranteeing you kids. I was like, for me, that was a killer. I love kids. Guys, I love babies. I don't care, they are not mine. I didn't birth them. As long as they the, the love, and I'll protect them like with my whole being. Like, so I don't want anything bad or wrong being done to kids. They're such innocent souls. So when I was told that, I was like, okay, it's, it's, it's fine. I'll, I will find a way. Um, to live in this world without um, my own kids, I will adopt. I'm hoping. My prayer was like, can I, can I meet a partner who will understand that? That you can have kids. I can have kids, mm -hmm. and I want to, to adopt. I'm open to adopting, and it doesn't matter which race. You know, um, love is love, guys. Yeah. So, because I would, I would used to, to, to go to orphanages um, during my weekends or month end, I would take some of my money, I would go buy food um, for the kids and then um, stuff for the elderly, depending on the setup of the of the orphanage that I'll visit. But I, I, I used to love uh, visiting Cotlands. Uh, I like, I would, the, the, there was a particular child there, actually now in hindsight, my my, my, my last born, one of the, the twins, the boy, he literally looks like, um, reminds me of that child. That child loved me so much. He was um, big, chubby, um, thick, um, skeletal structured baby. Monola, like sometimes I'd wonder, like, okay, is this child supposed to be mine? And like, Monola loved me to bits. I loved the child to bits. Like, you know, when I, your, your child, when you come back, that energy, they feel like they. Just Yo, gosh, like, so I would leave for those um, weekends or moments when I get um, a chance to, to go there. And I, I, I stopped praying about having kids because I was like, um, okay, he needs to do me. Like, if it's not going to happen for me, what is the point of praying about something and it's not going to happen? And also God knows. God knows what's in my heart. I can't speak about something enough. Sometimes we lie. Words are just lies. But God will judge you. I put it was in your heart. So I resigned myself to that fact of like, okay, it, it is what it is. And even through my, my pregnancy with Sasha, yo, I, I went through hell. Yeah, I saw a status I, on, on, on Instagram where you said you went through hell with the twins. What yeah. is that about? I don't know. I the one, the one and only. Yo, listen. Provider, protector. I, I, I used to literally like well, one of those staircases mm. with my belly. I would trip and fall and go down the staircase. Kamba. <clears throat> and mind you, I was in um, before um, falling pregnant. I was in ICU. And I have something in my spirit said like. We meal, your body is no longer the same body that you know. Mm. Please ask. And I remember in my drug induced state, we said the doctors, guys, can you please check if I'm not pregnant? But yo, when we pumped you so much with so much radiation, there is no way that you're pregnant, right? Because they will come every day, the x ray, this and that. Hey, my daughter. But there's no way. I will you know, and I just forget, forget that thing will be flushed out the next period. Next period came. Nada, nothing. I could feel like no man. 
Your body is not the same. Mm, my body is not the same. Like, mm-hmm. I've got hosts here, but no one is believing. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Guys, karaoke, okay, kaya kaya jamo bon. My one, I'm a little doctor. Kind of thing, a little did I know who I was. So my my babies, they are my anchors. They went through that with me. So the same thing with their brother. You know, um, yeah. It, it's I'm 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 not gonna speak to 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 to, to what transpired because I think my son when he is about it and when he's out there in the public domain, he 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 he, he might be hurt. And it's not for I'm protecting. Um, his father, I'm protecting my son for not um, speaking out about what I went through, you know. But the the, the, the physical abuse was there, the uh, mental abuse was there. So hence, I know I know um, characteristics are narcissist. I, I I know that, you know. But it, it is what it is. Those things, they help this woman that you see. They help me become this woman that you see. They they gave me a deeper resolve into going back to God, a bigger resolve into going back into my spirituality, like trying to understand, Mudim, why do I feel like, you know, I am young. I am 25 years old, and yet I feel like I'm living a life here, a 45-year-old woman. Why are you putting me through this? Why are you allowing these things to happen to me? You know? And it was only later on in life that it made sense. It, it makes sense. The challenges are still there, but now I am conscious. I am aware, and I, I choose the lessons that I want to 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 take from that. And every year, actually, if all of us we are like snakes, we need to know when it's time to shed our, our skin, guys. It's very very important. So I, I I live by these three elements. You learn, and you need to unlearn certain things, and you need to relearn new things on how to navigate with what we just learned. And you constantly have to do and you process. Because we are constantly revolving or evolving, mm-hmm. rather. We are constantly evolving. So it is very important to take cognizance of cleansing your spirit, you know, with certain life experiences. And yeah, and once I, 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 I realized that and decided to let the sun gonna live my life, um, Life became a bit much easier, although difficult to understand in God's timing as well. That spiritual side of things, like with um, Kiki um, so, oh, is it? Yeah, so <laughs> never like, would have guessed. You, you never would have guessed. <laughs> but I, I needed to also take a step back to find myself in the traditional sense of the word of like, okay, what is required of me here? Because it's, it's a lot of work acknowledging that part about your life. And they, it, it's important and imperative for you to acknowledge them as well. I'm so, so glad you, you got you, you spoke about God. You're speaking about spirituality because mm-hmm. in in my journey we've had a discussion prior to this. Yeah. And in my journey, I tell you, I told you that I was taking to a sangoma and I do not know what was done to my child. Mm-hmm. And you've sort of provided some sort of a relief and an explanation which I'm happy with. Mm-hmm. So, um, what more can you? Is is there even a where does is, does tra- spiritual in terms of tradition and Christianity connect anyhow? It's or also gonna... there in the Bible actually. Um, I think um, it's just that I'm, I'm not good with biblical scriptures. But I remember reading a story of um, a child, um, a child being born and offered to Mudim. The same thing that Abraham, um, Abraham did to his son when he wanted to offer his, his son as an offering to God, as a sacrifice to God. It's, um, it's, it's, it's almost the, the same thing because all of us, we are spirits. We are spirits, we are not only representing the, this vessel, that soul in there is a spirit. And that spirit operates differently, especially overweight. Those dreams that you get, those visions that you're shown, it's another way of God fast forwarding or showing you a window into what is going to happen in your life. But the question is, are you conscious or wise enough to pick up on those elements? You would think, now, like, oh my God, I had a deja vu moment. Yeah. Like, I, I, I can't leave that. Mm-hmm. That's when God says, like, listen, listen, I'm here. Your soul is speaking to you. Like, you've been given information, but you're not 
compiling it proper. You are not listening mm. still. You want to see it, you don't believe it, you don't to see it. And yet, this is what I want you to do. This is where I want you to be. This is the kind of people that I want you to connect with. Mm. Because we tend to bring wrong people in our lives. Mm. Did you pray for that, that relationship? Did you pray for me to come into your life? Did you pray for your, for your partner? Did you pray for this? We have to ask God, this is what I want. Is this the right path that you want me to be on this path? So now when I realized, like, okay, life is becoming tough, I don't understand. I thought I was with the, you know, the right person, but God, what must I do? What should I do? And I started writing poetry. I've got uh, uh, probably, I can, okay, I want to print um, those, those poems. I want to publish them. So that, that good. They could, um, could about 100 pages. Like, I write. I used to say misery was my muse. Misery is my muse because when I was in that dark space, miserable, I would write. I would write. And then I kind of stopped when obviously life experiences, the certain things I was going through. And for me, writing, I found it like it was um, a luxury. And by the time that I want to, like, okay, I'm relaxed enough, can I start writing? I don't have the energy. So I, I would sleep. Um, but I, I, I want to revisit that um, as well. But the, the, the spiritual journey that I, I had to go through, God, um, whew, it, it anchored me. It um, also brought me into loggerheads with, with my family. My mother didn't understand who I was because when you talk about, when you talk about, excuse me, when you talk about respect, mind you, Rana, but we are raised in such a way that you have to respect your elder. But also, as you're, as, as you're growing, you're also an adult yourself. You need to live your own life. And you also have certain knowledges that your parents don't have. You know, you, you also have foresight that your, your parents might not have. So I had to go back and um, talk to my mom, um, elevate our relationship, you know. So, I don't know, we are like, okay, now my younger sister, we uh, generally that sport, but I'm still like, my, my mom is still my, my BFF, but now she's got a, a BBBBFF, <laughs> you know. But um, it, it makes yeah. us become very close because my mom is a very strong, um, prayerful woman. Mm -hmm. So I am where I am partly because she, she prayed for me. In as much as I had to pray for myself to show God, what, like, okay, mm -hmm. This home we are social man. Go pull a 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 man. Go but you are here today. You are okay. What was your journey like? How, what what made you to leave that situation? What did you lose in the process? Now you are. We are seeing the final problem. Mm -hmm. But there's a roughness that you yeah. went through. There is something. I, I understand. I, I bet it was not easy for you mm -hmm. to. What 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 journey? I did remember you go the, the last straw for me leaving. Um, that at that that period of my life, because it was a little bit of a a back and forth. But then when I left, well, one of this Casey, mm -hmm. I was six months pregnant and I had to carry this case in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. I left her home or I got kicked out because we had a fight, the police were called and yeah, the family was like, no, let's see, you know, the police went over and I sent it out privately and it didn't work when they, the police left and um, one of his siblings left, he was like, fuck you, get the fuck out of my house. Just like that. Yeah, and we were like together. I'm not leaving. You go. And I, I, I had to, because for me, I was like, listen, I don't give a fuck anymore. My sanity matters the most. And now I am carrying this person here. Mm -hmm. Like, what, what am I bringing this child into the world for? And you know what? When you're in that space, um, it's, it's 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 not an okay space for any woman to be put in a traumatic environment when you're pregnant mm. because you, you you are not yourself a hormonal imbalance is oh gosh it's something else and i'm i'm just grateful for i did not suffer from postpartum depression because when that thing happens yeah it hits you really yeah, hard yay 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 so those those kind of moments when i look back they made me who, who i am
right now there was a, a, a time when i was bitter hated him wished him the worst wished him the worst and then i reached a point where a couple of years ago i'm like god but yeah nah i'm done i'm cool I'm cool. I'm not bad. 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 I'm I knew I was going to be okay. Were you okay? I got a roof over yeah, my yeah. head. God provided opportunities. Mm -hmm. Opportunities to a point where the very same men used to be to say, like, yeah, you are useless. You never amount to anything without me. You can't do this. I made you. I did. I did. I'm like, are you my God? Do you know <laughs> what I want? Do you know my dreams? Mm -hmm. My deepest dreams. Do you, do you know them? I remember when I entered Motoago, we were not together. And every single time they ask, like, who's going to win this competition? I would used to say, me. Spiritual provider, me, I'm going to win it. Hey, and there were other equally beautiful, intelligent young ladies. I would say, me, that's my spot. Me, nah, my whole family, that's my spot. That check, that plastic check book is going to have my name on it. And some people thought, like, yo, you're so like arrogant and mm -hmm. baseless arrogancy. No, 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 no. Spiritual arrogancy. Because I knew something told me that like, that is for you. And that's how God worked through me. Elevated me. Because we're now living to whatever earthly possessions or things that you have. And you thought like God was only for you. Nah. God put me there. And then Motu started coming closer. Now Kibu know it's like I'm a person. Kimoto, you know, I, I feel you. And I'm like, wow. <sighs> Wow, it just comes to this. God restored in, in ways. You know, when you, when you feel, that's why I, I said, giving up is not an option, man. God always comes through for you. God always comes through for us. Those tests, go through it. There's a testimony at the end of those tests. Mm -hmm. You yeah. might look like a mess. We'll get the message later mm -hmm. when God is done mm -hmm. with you. You know? So, listen, as long as I kill I don't wish anyone evil. But you start a fight, best believe I'm going to end it. I will end it for you. Then, yeah, we, there, there will be rumble in this jungle. So, it's, it has been hell, but so heavenly, it's in so many senses. I will, I, will, I will not redo that path. I will not redo certain things looking back because I am the woman that I am today because of those painful, harsh, unfair lessons. So I, 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 can't, I can't say there's anything that I can take back. But I do regret certain people that came into my life. But they contributed to the person. No, they, they, they did contribute mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. now it's um, as mature person spiritually enlightened when you when when i look back i'm like god why why why, 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 why did why did you bring those people man i recognize some people are just mm -hmm. like i could say yeah, well, no, but i could say please don't say, yeah. don't say anything because i i'm i want to punish you as so well it's just like one of those things like i am not the same person anymore we are not there anymore god didn't put you in that situation you know, for you to come out and go back and, and yeah uh -huh. no 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 Lesson learned. I found that I learned. <laughs> yay, 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 I learned. Just let me be in peace yeah. where I am. Don't come and start claiming and saying what, what, what. Busy tarnishing. That old mahofa is gone. No more. No more. This is a, this is a new one. No more. So when people say like, yeah, but in the past you used to do that. Like, yeah, in the past in I the used past, to do that. Let the past stay. Let the past stay in the past. We are talking about today. Where are you when as a person who busy bringing up people's past? Really? Really? You like what about these three fingers that are pointing back at you? Answer to that. So I don't have time for that. If you start to telling me about your past, would, no no no. Unless if you're talking about your past, you want to, to heal, you want to go. But if it's to shame and name call and tarnish someone else's reputation and this person has grown, mm -hmm. they're at a level where like listen, they know better. They are doing better. And God is showing off mm -hmm. through this person's life. Let them be. Mm -hmm. 
if you're in a miserable space or state, deal with that. That's your lesson right now. Deal with that. Leave me out of it. Or leave an hour to out of it. Mm. So people don't, don't understand do that. But they want mm. to drag you through the mud again. Like, I mean, pigs rumbling in the mud. Come on, man. <laughs> Some of us don't want to partake in that. We've been through that. We walked out of it. We washed ourselves or we got washed. Can I be clean in my corner? Mm. I can get it a but it's just God saying, like, listen, babe, I want you to behave in a certain way now. You are not the old person. So if that comes across as arrogance to you, that's your problem. I'm good. Wow. Um, I'll share the link from our earlier on discussion. I'll, I'll actually upload a video on that so that you can just get that. That was very long and enlightening. I got to share my journey. She, was, she got to guide me. And that was... I really really enjoyed that conversation and i thought i came here to talk about healing to talk about depression but actually i i, I, I got out of here with new, new with knowledge mm -hmm. okay. and i'm excited for the future i think you gave me some sort of i don't even know how to explain it but i feel like there's a huge weight that has been lifted off my shoulders Mm. And I thank you for this opportunity for coming through. Just checking, everyone has a story. Every, each yeah. and every single person has a story. Yeah, when you meet someone by the grocery shop, mm. just be kind yeah. because you don't know what they're going yeah. through. You can be the difference between between that turning point the and, grace and yes, yeah, you can yeah. be that saving grace, or you can actually put the knock, be that yeah. person who, who puts the final knock on that coffin. Mm. I hope that you choose to be better. Mm. And. I know you will definitely be seeing more of her and more of me with her. Yeah, you will. So, <laughs> so yeah, no, I guess this is only an intro. We it, will, it is. It is. You will see more, but uh, more than anything, the same way you 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 are making it a fashion to name and shame. Let's also make um, healing trend. Yeah. Uh, we don't do pity parties here. It's Let's talk important. about problems it's really for the and black culture. healing. Yes, yes, it's yes, really yes. for the black culture. It's we. We trivialize the greatness that people achieve, the goods that they, they achieve, mm -hmm. even little. We don't even want to celebrate it. But let's talk about failures or scandals. We are the first one to shame, you know. And I, I just don't understand that mentality. Why are you not wishing more normal more good? What is wrong with just acknowledging that? Is your envy so... That, pain, that, that, that bitter pill, man, is it so deep? That to you is normal, mm. you know. So uh, now I'm just grateful, Kori, you allowed me into your space and for us to have this kind of conversation. So your people can find me on um, Instagram, Mahofe. Mahofe, she's the only one, I think. Mahofe, yeah. Good Otherwise, energy. there's a village. No there's a village called <laughs> Mahofe. So if you can say I'm from royalty, you, can, you know, yeah, I, I will accept that. I receive you. <laughs> Please do follow her on Instagram. She usually has live shows where she also talks about life, life in general. And if you have a kinky side as well, that is the page to go to. Yes, I saw that. <laughs> we talk about self-love, yeah, healing self -love. and everything. Thank you and hoping to see you again soon. Yes, please subscribe. <laughs>